Hi, this is Eslin. Welcome back, my fishies. Today, I thought I would share some of my leftovers with you. It's not a really big deal. What I'm going to do is, you know, I love my food saver. Um, I, I worked at Stra uh, Strain's Market this summer, and they had purple cauliflower. So today, I'm just going to steam it. Um, turn on the fire here. I'm going to steam it, and I'm also going to I'm also going to put some lamb and potatoes in the oven to warm up. I um I made the lamb this summer. I smoked it on the grill. I just smoked. It's almost all the way done. It's, it's not quite all the way done. It's part way done. And some potatoes. Like I said, I love my food saver. So I had the potatoes in the food saver. So now I'm just going to heat those up while the water starts to boil. Slide this down in the oven here. And what I'm what I did was I turned the water up so the water can start to boil. I'm just going to steam it. Um, the cauliflower, it's the purple cauliflower. I'm just going to steam it. So I'm going to um going to open it up here. And then I'm just going to wait until this steam starts to steam. I said I turned the fire up pretty good so it should start steaming pretty soon here on high. And then I'm just going to heat up the potatoes and then the lamb. I'm going to slice it, cut the lamb, I'm going to try it, make the plate looks nice. Um, I made some chutney a couple of days ago. I made some chutney a couple of days ago only because I thought I had some curry. Um, don't have any curry, so I'm going to have to go to the store and get some things to make the curry, and then we'll make the curry, then we'll eat the rest of the chutney. I'm gonna sit this back over here. Now, the vegetables, I like, um, you can either steam them or roast them. I, I probably could have roasted them in the oven, but um, with the purple cauliflower, I kind of want to retain some of the purpleness on it, so I'll, I'll steam it. Um, I didn't add anything to the water yet. I'm not going to add it into the water because it's steaming. But you might sometimes can put in there just to add a little flavor to it. To steam it into the cauliflower. Now, this is the purple cauliflower. Like I said, I um, put it in there. And the reason it has that in there, the ice crystals in there is because um, this bag wasn't quite cooled all the way down. Because, you know, it retains moisture when um, it freezes. So let's check on this. It's, it's almost hot enough. You know what? Where we are today here, it is very cold outside. Yes, it is. We're under a deep freeze. Most of the country is under a deep freeze. Other vegetables you might be able to stream. I could probably stream, steam some broccoli with this also. I'm just not in the mood for broccoli today. But um, they have the purple cauliflower and the white cauliflower. And they also have a yellow cauliflower. I haven't come across it yet, but I do know that there is a yellow cauliflower out there. This is just almost about ready. We can slide the cauliflower. I'm just going to lay it in here. Oh, I need to tell you first, see, I have the water. I put water, the bottle of water, and this is just like a rack, a steam tray. So you need one of those. So... Your vegetables don't sit down in the water. When you steam it, you don't want it to sit in the water. But like I said, I'm just going to put these florets in here real quick. And you know what, you guys? I forgot to set the timer for the oven. Heating up my lamb. And that's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to cook the oven lamb because it's not going to be good. So been in there what a couple minutes maybe about three four maybe five minutes so what we're going to do is i'm going to just set my timer here for about what mm, maybe five more five six more minutes because i'm just i just want to heat that stuff up it, it's already done we're just heating up leftovers the only thing we're really steaming and cooking is the cauliflower and like I said, that should be done pretty soon. I'll be right back. Up oh, dead space. I have my fresh pepper, the Himalayan pink salt. I like that. 
and then the fresh ground peppercorns and then i have some butter in the bowl already i'm going to just put over the cauliflower when it steams if i was roasting the cauliflower or the other vegetables i'll either use maybe some grapeseed oil or maybe olive oil olive oil is good also to roast the vegetables a little salt and pepper but sometimes I like to put a little garlic on there, maybe mix in some onions. It's really good too. I'm just going to check my lamb really quick because I didn't set the timer in time. I'm just going to check to make sure that it's not going to overcook or overheat. One of the worst things you can do is have dry meat, dry lamb. Yeah, that, that's not really good. Oh, that was steaming. I shouldn't keep opening the top on that. But there's other things that, other vegetables. Um, asparagus is very good, too. I, I like asparagus. Asparagus steams very well. Um, corn is another one. Corn is a starch, but it steams very well. When I worked at the greenhouse strains, we had, they grew a lot of their own corn. They grew the corn um bell peppers and a lot of the vegetables they open this spring you're in the area of Reynolds and hill you need to stop in and check them out the vegetables are very good you can also i uh, think i think lamb they also come this lamb i marinated in teriyaki sauce the lamb in the oven. I marinated in teriyaki and then I add a little barbecue sauce. So it's like a teriyaki barbecue sauce. It's not like the regular flavored lamb. So that's why I can eat different foods with it because it's smoked for one. It's not just a regular cooked lamb. I, I shouldn't open that. You shouldn't open it. And this way I got a little steamer. Do you know what? I should have it turned that way because if the steam starts coming out, you always want it away. You open up a steam pot, you always open it that way so the steam will go away from you. And you won't get a facial. <laughs> Something you might need, but you don't want to get from a hot stove. Other green vegetables, um, salad. You know what? I should have made a salad. But you know, I, I don't think I got everything to make a salad. We're going to have to have an episode where we're going to make salads and dressings. I think that would be really nice salads and dressings our meat is almost warmed up heated up and i think the cauliflower might be almost ready also steaming in there really nice once it gets done we're gonna salt and pepper it put a little butter on it then i'm gonna take the lamb out let it cool um the potatoes they have like rosemary thyme little garlic and i toss them in some olive oil before i put them i cook them and then I put them in the food saver. Like I said, I love my food saver. And it's only maybe like one serving left. So that's why I figured, you know, I put it in the food saver and save it. And that way I don't waste a lot of food. I'll be right back. Yep, it looks like that... Oh, yes, cauliflower is steaming really nice. This is kind of hot. I don't want to put it too close to the camera, but hopefully you can see down in the pot pretty good. It was blanched before I froze it. I blanched it for maybe a minute or two. And all, like I said, all we're doing is just we're trying to heat it up to where. Yeah, we just want to heat it up. Oh, yes, this is almost ready. See that? Still retains its color. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. I'm going to hear the oven. The oven's ready. Now we're going to take out the lamb and the potatoes. Doesn't that look good? Looks delicious.
Doesn't that look delicious? Now I'm going to sit this lamb over here. Then I'm going to slice it. Oh, I'm going to take it on the other side. Then I'm going to slice it. And we'll be right back with it. I'm going to slice it so I can try to plate it really nice. Plating is not really my thing, but I'm going to try to give it a try. Slice this lamb up. Give it a try. Put the potatoes on the plate. And I believe that the broccoli, I mean the cauliflower is ready. A couple more seconds here. Trying to slice this lamb so it'll come out looking halfway decent. Then I have one to taste. Oh, wow! Yes, this looks just delicious. That lamb looks just delicious. I'm gonna plate it on here, put the lamb in the potatoes. Move that back. So we have the potatoes. Mm, that just smells so good. The potatoes smell good, but the, the lamb smells even better. Put that off there. Put a piece of lamb there. I'm going to just sit it here so I can plate it. Get this out the way. Extra your onions off of the tray sit that over there okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to plate it I'm not a very good plater I need some practice but I've seen it done on television I'm going to do that there like that and I'm going to take the cauliflower out like I say you always lift it away the steam Purple cauliflower. I'm going to put it in the bowl here in the corner. And I have the butter down on the bottom, but I'm going to put it on top of the cauliflower so it'll melt. Okay. Now, meat fell over. Put it like that. Try to make it look a little decent. Then I'll put my salt and my pepper on the cauliflower. Let me get the fork here. Put it across there. Now, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That looks good. Let's see. Oh, that's too big of a bite. We'll take a smaller one. Mmm. That was the potatoes. Those are delicious. Now, we'll find a little piece of cauliflower. Purple cauliflower. Mmm. That is some good cauliflower. Lollipop lamb chop. Mmm, that is so delicious. It's nice and warm all the way through. It's smoky. Oh, this is so delicious. We'll have leftovers. If you like what you see, click the thumbs up. If you want more, hit the dinner bell. You can leave a comment. We'll talk about it. Subscribing is free. And everybody, please stay safe. Share the channel and have a positive night.